So a lot of you might have woke up this morning to find out about this big outage from a company called CrowdStrike and it's causing blue screens all over the planet with airports and medical facilities and all kinds of businesses and banking and everything else. And apparently even though CrowdStrike is working on a resolution and eventually your computer will come back up, there is a fix for it and I wanted to tell you about it. So I grabbed a shower got some coffee and I'm gonna show you what's going on. So for the sake of expediency, I'm not gonna do a lot of editing in this video. I wanna to try to get it out there as soon as possible. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just keep restarting your computer until you get to the, until you get a message saying that your machine can't boot and then you need to go into troubleshooting. At this point, you can click on troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and then startup settings. And what this will do is give you the option to get into safe mode. Go ahead and click on restart. There's a file inside the Windows drivers folder that you need to delete. I'm gonna show you where you need to go and what file you need to delete, and then you should be able to boot your computer. Now, here's a couple things you need to keep in mind. One, if you have BitLocker enabled on your computer, you will need to enter that 48 digit key in order to be able to get into safe mode. If you don't have that key, you can go to your Microsoft account on your mobile device and retrieve it that way. If you can't get into that, you can contact your IT department or wait until Windows Update pushes down a fix for this. But if you need to get in your computer immediately and you don't have BitLocker enabled, and you can get into your Windows file system. If you delete this file, you can restart your computer and that will take care of it. You should be able to get back in with no problem. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you get into safe mode, you're gonna to want to go to your Windows File Explorer, then go to your C drive under this PC, and then you're gonna to want to go down to the Windows folder, scroll down to System32, and then scroll down to Drivers, and then Find that CrowdStrike folder that should be close to the top of the list. Double click that CrowdStrike folder and inside that folder you'll see a file that starts with c something 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 dot sys. Right click on that file and delete it. Just to be sure, go back one folder to the drivers folder and look and see if there's any of those files that look exactly like that c-0000 etc. If you see one like that, go ahead and delete it. Otherwise, go ahead and close your Windows Explorer and restart your computer. This is the information that we have so far, but this one thing should allow you back into your computer. Obviously this is breaking news and I just wanted to get this information out there to you. So a week from now, this may be completely different than what Microsoft or CrowdStrike is saying to do. But if you need to get in your computer today, this should help you. I hope this video helped you. Sorry for the impromptu video, but good luck. And let me know if it works for you.